Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for October 11th, read by Cindy L. from Fort Worth, Texas. AA thoughts for the day. Trouble. In AA, we learned that trouble was really a fact of life for everybody, a fact that had to be understood and dealt with. Surprisingly, we found that our troubles could, under God's grace, be converted into unimagined blessings. Indeed, that was the essence of AA itself. Trouble accepted, trouble squarely faced with calm courage, trouble lessened and often transcended. This was the AA story, and we became a part of it. Such demonstrations became our stock and trade for the next sufferer. As Bill sees it, page 110, thought to consider, God enters us through our wounds. Acronyms, hope, hang on, peace exists. Just for today. Independent from the three legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. Money-wise, Dr. Bob and I were still in a rather bad way. We were therefore allotted $30 a week, in 1940, and enough was on hand to keep this up for a year. Therefore, the Rockefeller dinner guests were solicited annually, and the proceeds were always divided in the same way. Four years later, we were able to write Mr. Rockefeller and his friends of the Union Club dinner that we needed no more funds. By then, royalties from the book were giving Dr. Bob and me the help we needed, and the AA groups had begun to pick up the load of supporting the headquarters office. At that point, the AA tradition of no outside contributions went into full force and effect. Mr. Rockefeller and his friends had given us something more valuable than money. They had put AA on the map. Alcoholics Anonymous comes of age, pages 186 to 188. Daily Reflections. Self-Restraint. Our first objective will be the development of self-restraint. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 91. My drive to work provides me with an opportunity for self-examination. One day while making this trip, I began to review my progress in sobriety and was not happy with what I saw. I hoped that as the work progressed, I would forgive these troublesome thoughts. But as one disappointment after another kept coming, my discontent only increased and the pressures within me kept mounting. I retreated to an isolated table in the lounge and asked myself how I could make the most of the rest of the day. In the past, when things went wrong, I instinctively wanted to fight back. But during the short time I had been trying to live the AA program, I had learned to step back and take a look at myself. I recognized that although I was not the person I wanted to be, I had learned to not react in my old ways. Those old patterns of behavior only brought sorrow and hurt to me and to others. I returned to my workstation, determined to make the day a productive one, thanking God for the chance to make progress that day. As Bill sees it, faith, a blueprint, and work. The idea of 24-hour living applies primarily to the emotional life of the individual. Emotionally speaking, we must not live in yesterday, nor in tomorrow. But I have never been able to see that this means the individual, the group, or AA as a whole should give no thought whatever to how to function tomorrow or even in the more distant future. Faith alone never constructed the house you live in. There had to be a blueprint and a lot of work to bring it into reality. Nothing is truer for us of AA than the biblical saying, faith without works is dead. AA services, all designed to make more and better 12-step work possible, are the works that ensure our life and growth by preventing anarchy or stagnation. Letter 1954. Big Book Quote We have seen the truth demonstrated again and again. Once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic. Commencing to drink after a period of sobriety, we are in a short time as bad as ever. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, more about alcoholism, page 33. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. How good a sponsor am I? When I bring new members to a meeting, do I feel that my responsibility has ended? Or do I make it my job to stay with them until they have either become good members of AA or have found another sponsor? If they don't show up for a meeting, do I say to myself, well, they've had it put up to them, so if they don't want it, there's nothing more I can do? 
Or do I look them up and find out whether there is a reason for their absences or that they don't want AA? Do I go out of my way to find out if there is anything more I can do to help? Am I a good sponsor? Meditation for the day. First, be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift to God. First, I must get right with other people and then I can get right with God. If I hold a resentment against someone, which I find it very difficult to overcome, I should try to put something else constructive into my mind. I should pray for the one against whom I hold the resentment. I should put that person in God's hands and let God show him or her the way to live. If a man says, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? Prayer for the day. I pray that I may see something good in every person, even one I dislike, and that I may let God develop the good in that person. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I am Cindy, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to Daily aaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.